Hi guys, this is Yash from Unleash the Phones and here I have with me the Nokia Lumia 610 and in this video I am going to show you the performance of WhatsApp for Windows Phone on the Nokia Lumia 610 since this is a Windows Phone Tango device with the limited uh, RAM and also it has background task disabled so let's just see how WhatsApp functions over here and this is my start screen where I have WhatsApp uh, live tile pinned to the start and uh, this is how it uh, shows you your unread messages and uh, as you can see at the top this is these are the push notifications uh, of WhatsApp anyways let's just switch to the start and uh, You'll also see how long it takes for the app to start. It's not like uh, on Symbian or Android where you can just switch to the app within a second. On Windows Phone, I have seen particularly on the 610, I've seen that the app takes quite a few seconds to start. Not very conducive when it comes to chatting on the go and uh, multitasking while chatting. And when you open the app for the first time after when you open the app for the first time after uh, quite a long time it fetches all your messages which you've received in the meantime at one go so uh, I'll just come back to chatting later I'll show you around whatsapp uh, this is your chats view where all your chats are listed at the bottom you have an option to search uh, start a new chat or uh, create a new group then you have settings where like everything else on whatsapp or windows phone uh, this also takes a few seconds to start settings uh, you have an option to show messages just a second show messages in notification the push notifications which you get at the top and auto save incoming pictures you can refresh your favorites by just tapping over here and it shows you your blocked contacts that's basically that's it for the settings of the app um, you can change your profile picture uh, you can either delete your current picture choose one from the albums or take a new picture uh, and you can set your push name uh, the one which is used in the push, notifica push notifications on windows phone and iphone and you can see your current account status that's it for settings on whatsapp and um, this is your chat list swipe to the right and uh, now I did swipe yeah this is what I wanted to show you that at times the app simply stops responding and uh, takes a lot of time to process your actions so anyways this is the favorites list and um, if you scroll in the list then um, as is with the other windows phone and worse on the 610 the scrolling uh, between in long lists is not really uh, very good it's jaggy it's laggy and um, when you scroll in uh, when you scroll fast enough uh, the text is hidden and um, it appears back again when you either when you when the scrolling slows down or when you're done scrolling uh, the other function which i like the other way where you can get around your favorites list is with these um, alphabets you can simply move around the list with just two clicks we are at Y, let's just say we want to move to C and in this, uh, I must have clicked on H in this two clicks you can move around uh, your entire favorites list and um, this is your phones list, phones contact list, the entire list as I was telling you um, Jari scrolling so anyways coming to the chat we are right now talking to Clinton Jeff from Unleash the Phones and uh, this is your chat view 
and let's let's say hi to CJ and uh, let me tell you that I have already received the message on my Symbian phone but you haven't seen it over here on Windows phone and um, so this is exactly what I wanted to show you at times the app completely stalls and does not respond to your actions and then at one go it will cover all the actions which you've completed in the meantime this is the hi which I sent to CJ which has already been sent to the group but the app over here is not uh, mirroring it and we've also received a response from CJ which whenever uh, the app starts working again we will be able to see I'll repeat the reason why I have not stopped this video uh, is because this is not a one-off occurrence this happens to me virtually uh, every time I'm using the app so in case you're wondering of getting the 610 for yourself or recommending it to somebody uh, you have to show them or you have to tell them this is how uh, they should expect whatsapp to function like I was telling you we have already received a message from CJ and uh, we are going to talk to him I've sent another message and um, this is how long it's taking for the message to appear on the screen um, what we'll do is we'll just try and switch back to the start screen and let's open the app again so again if you are chatting with somebody on whatsapp and you uh, switch back to the start screen to do something else and again you have to switch back to whatsapp this is how long it's going to take you The experience uh, in my uh, in my experience whatsapp on the Lumia 710 and 800 was better than this but then uh, 610 is a Tango 7.5 refresh device and I'll show you the other options which you have available this is the send message icon this is the attach icon where you can take a photo and send it choose a photo from your albums you can share your location or you can share a contact card and uh, while sharing a location you can not only share your GPS coordinates but you can also um, share one of the places uh, near your position uh, we'll just wait for the 610 to locate us and it has so like I was telling you you can not only share your location but you can also um, check into or you can also share one of the places where you're at and this is how the group gets to see where you are you can share a photo we will just take a dummy shot you can either accept or retake a shot for video's sake we will just accept the shot let whatsapp resume and then that pic will be sent to the group and uh, this is CJ who sent us an image since we have uh, auto save images enabled in the settings whatsapp is already downloading this image and uh, we will check out the image so 
that's how image sharing works on this whatsapp for windows phone you can also share a contact so it will now load my entire contact list from where i can select which contact i would like to share again this is how long it takes we will share atif's contact card and uh, other than that you have an option to record an audio and share it hello cj and you can either play it back or send it or you can record a video and send it let's check out what other options we have for the group we have the group info and um, over here you can check out the group subject you can mute a group i'll get to it later these are the group members and um, for group muting the group you have an option to mute for 8 hours and one day or one week we will just mute it for 8 hours what muting does is it um, stops the push notifications and the so sound uh, the audio confirmation for the messages um, this is the media tab where you can see all the media shared in this group so it's a nice one stop place to check out all the media from the group and coming back to uh, mute I'll just So how mute works is uh, you are not going to receive a push notification or a sound for the new message but you will be able to see all the messages once again when you open or switch to the app. So yeah, I am just waiting for CJ to send a message. Okay, he sent a message but you cannot see it on the screen when I switch back to the app. Yeah, when I switch back to the app, you can see that there is a new message. So, this is basically it. This is WhatsApp for Windows Phone. And uh, let me know if you have any further queries and questions and I will try to answer them.